Welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're doing that series on tips, tricks, and techniques for working with your smartwatch. And in an earlier installment, we talked about um, the importance of checking your apps to seeing if they can be relocatable to the SD card by being able to tap the button that says move to SD card when you're looking at your apps in the app info. One of the areas we looked at was um, these text-to-speech synthesized voices. And one of our readers, Kevin, uh, made a really good comment that it's not quite so simple to look and see whether you can uh, activate the move to SD card button or not. It goes a little deeper than that. So he invited me to take a look, and I'm going to show you what I found out. Here's the exact same voice uh, that's been installed on both my LG G3 and my ZGPAX S8 smartwatch. And you can see that the total bytes, megabytes, is pretty high. Now remember, that's like a quarter of a gigabyte. And if the internal memory on this is only one gigabyte, it's taking up quite a bit of space if it's on the internal drive. Okay. Again, ignore that little dot there. That's uh, being put on there from an app that we talked about earlier. In fact, if I touch it, I think I can make it go away. Touch and hold, and you can get rid of it so it doesn't clutter the screen for today. Um, the SD card is holding 250 megabytes of the app. Here it's 242. And the app itself is only 3.18 megabytes on the watch, 6.38 on the phone, that's actually residing in the internal memory. So the idea of the move to card uh, to, to the SD card... Um, works and it also can be pre-done by the developer and uh, in this case I have moved it already to the SD card because the button switched to move to internal storage so most everything is on the SD card okay on this one 242 megabytes is on the SD card and the rest of it is in the app and even though you have the button to push here it's already set up in a nice way so that most of it is already over there. Now, the reason I point that out is that I had mentioned another um, text-to-speech developer. This is Sarah Proc that makes these called Ivona. Did not have the move to SD card button. But if you look carefully, as uh, one of our viewers, Kevin, pointed out, the total memory that's used is really small and that the actual data resides on the SD card, which it's not showing that it's doing that on the phone, but it it's got to be in there somewhere and it's in the hundreds of megabytes. So the point I'm getting at is whether or not the app you're interested in installing on your watch is movable by pressing this button to the SD card, you actually have to look deeper to see the numbers and whether or not the numbers support a low megabyte value for the app installed internally and most of it you want to be moved over to the SD card this is the portion of the app on the SD card okay this is the portion of the app that's actually residing in internal memory so clarifying that when you go through and make your list of apps and you come into your apps uh, manager inside your watch you're going to be able to look through them and determine which ones are movable or not by simply pressing and checking for the move to SD card once you do that make sure that you uh, get a good handle on what the numbers look at because the intent is to free up as much internal memory as possible moving all of your apps as best you can to the SD card all right, that's the first part I wanted to clarify. Second part now is to actually take a look at this. Someone else was saying, well, if you've done all of this study and research on apps in these different categories, and you know which ones, like in the browsers, actually can move to the SD card, can you share that? Sure. Let's do that. When you're in the watch and you're in your apps, you can just simply click over to the SD card and these are the 56 or so 
apps that I have actually installed on the SD card in the watch. I'm not going to go through them in detail, but I'll just show them here for you to look at. Several of them have already been reviewed, and other ones maybe will be reviewed given time. And um, calculators, the Clean Master we talked about. Cloudcaster, all of these have to do, or that has to do with Chromecasting. Drippler, excellent source of information on your watch or your phone about apps. Feedly is a replacement for, I think, Facebook. There's the Firefox browser and Flipboard. You can test your GPS. Groove IP is a telephone uh, VOIP service. Ground effects is a game. Hearing a heart rate. Okay. These are various apps that run well on the watch. And Maxton browser is interesting. And you can actually move over to the SD card. So, tip, trick, technique, tip. Free up your internal memory as much as possible. Trick, move apps to your SD card. Technique is to go into the apps and do it manually by hitting the button that says move the SD card or run your Clean Master app like we show in a previous video and do them all from within there in a pretty much automated process. All right. Thanks again for watching and we'll be back with more information in a little while.